that seemed on to it. Eh? He um, had a pretty good attitude towards his dogs. Yeah, no, that's just, and, and isn't that great? It's just how it should be. Oh, absolutely. You know, I mean, these guys up um, in Wellsford there, uh, yeah, what, I don't know quite what's going on with the guy with 33 dogs. Is he, was he really a uh, responsible dog owner? You know, were any of them registered? Oh, I don't think so. He, 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 seemed, he seemed a decent chap. Uh, but he did, I, yeah. I, things have got out of control from him. Uh, they all looked fed well and they looked in good condition, but 33 is just ridiculous. Well, exactly. You know, that, uh, that last guy there, Stuart, if he... Um, yeah, if he'd just let his uh, Rottweiler and his Great Danes go mating hell for leather in the backyard, um, I'm, I'm sure he wouldn't do that. Yeah, he wouldn't end up with 33 pups running loose, uh, needing to be taken care of one way or another, but certainly not with guns. I mean, there's no reason to um, come over to your neighbour's house, serve him with a... Um, yeah, forcibly have him sign something just so you can pop off his dogs because maybe one of them um, uh, took out your little pocket dog. Maybe, that's right. Yeah, and, and that's, that's what right. it is, isn't it? It's a maybe. And, and this guy, you know, I saw the news article about it, and, um, okay, whether he was a, a decent dog owner or not, he did seem like a good guy. And he had, um, it, these dogs were his family, you know. it's um, It's got to be pretty hard for him losing, uh, you know, his, his friends. He lives on his own out in the WAPs there, and um, and now his, his mates, his family are all gone. Yes, he, he, he did seem like a reclusive sort of a fella, but he did actually sound quite reasonable, and, it, and, yeah. and it, what it looked like to me is if someone had approached him, Joe, and said, uh, look, we have to take care of this, this is getting way out of control and probably out of your control, what do you say? You, you, you keep three and we'll take care of the rest and we'll spade and get your other three looked after. Yeah, yeah. Have you? I, I reckon he would have been for it. I think so too. Although, yeah, yeah, 33 dogs, it's a bit of a um, double-edged sword. You know, this guy obviously is upset, but the 33 dogs, it said uh, in an article that they were all bred from um, uh, one mating pair. They're all brothers and sisters and cousins. Now, surely the um, the youngest ones are going to be pretty messed up, aren't they? Pretty inbred. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah that's right, yeah. that's right too. But, uh, yeah, like I say, you know, it's got to be pretty hard from losing all his friends. Um, you know, I know how, how it is. I've, I've lost, uh, you know, someone uh, dear to me just recently as, as well. Uh, a friend of mine, Nikolai, has gone missing. And, uh, yeah, everyone's missing him. He's, he was a great guy. He, um, yeah, he's the sort of person. He'd just give gifts to, uh, you know, like public servants and things like that, you know, just, just for doing their job right. Yeah, he was, um, yeah. Oh, so you, a person's gone missing? Yeah, a person. Um, my mate... Um, Nikolai just on uh, New Year's Eve he was uh, he was out on a yacht and no one's heard from him since so um, yeah it's pretty tough yeah, there's a lot of people people mourning for him and, and so on yeah, he's inspired so many people to do such good things and, and affect positive change around them you know just helping others and you know, he had a pretty wicked sense of humour he was a good guy eh? yeah. oh that's, that's terribly sad yeah. he's the sort of dude I mean, he'd be out there giving hugs to strangers and starting sing-alongs on the bus and yeah, I mean, you know, geez, he'd give hot water bottles to homeless people on the on the streets of Auckland. In fact, he did that with, um, yeah, he handed out um, dozens of hot water bottles to homeless people. That's yeah, pretty pretty good. Oh, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good one. Yeah. He's a good one, doesn't he? He was, yeah, yeah, sadly missed. But yeah, I like this guy with his dogs, you know. You, they, they, they like, they, people, yeah, they, to him, they, they like people, you know. It's just family and and so on. Yeah, Nikolai's family was, was pretty big, um, but... Uh, yeah, he had uh, more more friends than anything, you know. Like, um, and he could inspire people to do other things. That was that was what was good about him. Yeah. Yeah, we pretty much missed him. The way, the way he rubs off on others is only going to make you better yourself. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And uh, oh, hey, he's enriched my life. That's for sure. You well, know, he's made me a better person. I mean, um, you know, just yesterday, I, uh, inspired by him, I um, I went down to the North Shore Hospice here and um, just delivered some flowers to the um, nurses station there. You know, no. No need for thanks. Um, there was, in fact, uh, you know, I just anonymously went in there and, and gave these um, flowers to the nurses just for uh, doing a good job, you know. And uh, and uh, I'm sure there's not enough people that go out and say thanks to these um, these people that do work tirelessly to, to help other people. Yes, yeah. It, 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 you're quite, it, isn't it great how that, how that can rub off on you and, as you say, yeah. it can make you a better person? But just to surround yourself by people like that... Oh, exactly. exactly. Lift, lift your spirits... I was just sitting with my daughter, my eldest daughter, in the car yesterday, and I was dropping off my son at his, at his uh, gym and wrestling business, and I blocked the lane while I'm backing out, and I didn't quite catch this lady at the side of my, and she had her children in the car with her, and, and, I, and I blocked the way, and I, I give her a wave and, and apologise sort of through the window as you do. She beamed the most beautiful smile back at both of us and waved back, and everything's calling on you, 
go. And my daughter just says to me, Dad, when people smile like that, don't they brighten your day? And yes. they just lift your spirits a wee bit as well. And I'm thinking, yeah, wasn't she lovely? I really liked her and I didn't know her. You're yeah. just a stranger, but just a little something like that can can uh, really change the mood. And it's, uh, it's good. Uh, we need more of that. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Yeah, well, um, yeah you'll find it's quite tough if you're... Um out and about on the um, streets of Auckland, for example, you can walk, did you know you can walk all the way from the top of Queen Street right down to the bottom, you could smile at every person you pass and I guarantee you'll get bugger all people smiling back, which is a shame, you know, we um, just need to lift our heads a little bit and, um, you know, and uh, look at the people around us and make a better community, that's all it takes, lift your oh, head, you know. That's Joe, it certainly could do it, we get so busy and hectic and you're running around and you get grumpy and somebody's in your way and oh, you get like that, but you, then you get touched by somebody, you know, pretty pretty cool like that, who's, who's, yeah. who's, who's unaffected from yeah. all that business and we certainly need more of them. I'm very sorry thank about you. your friend, Joe. Thank you, thank you yeah. very much. And, and thanks a lot for the call. Great yeah, to you take care too. See you, Joe. Thanks, mate. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. Quite right. And uh, Jeremy's with us. Hello, Jeremy. You too, Stuart. Thank you. And we've got Stuart with us. Hello, Stuart. You there, Stuart? That's a shame. Um, give us a call back. We'll put you straight to the top of the queue, uh, Stuart, if you want to call us back. That's Stuart from Dunedin, and I do know who you are. Uh, 0800 723 465.